Alrighty, so today is, I guess, hopefully the day. Unless we realize we gotta cut it up and rethink our lives. Then we'll, maybe not. But today, the plan is to pull the trans, or the trans, the motor, the whole shebang, hopefully in one go. I mean, I guess that'd be our only other option if uh, we're not able to get it out, is we'd have to do that. But uh, yeah, so he went to Harbor Freight, got a leveling thing for the motor, and so that should hopefully be nice till it breaks. And then we're kind of fucked, but we'll play that dangerous game, I guess. Well, yeah, so right now we got to hook this thing up to the motor, and uh, you already jack up the front, I see. Yep. So, and we got to crawl underneath there, disconnect the whole transmission. Which is three bolts now. Which is three bolts. So, it's pretty much ready to pull. I mean, if you give this thing a nice little wiggle, she moves, so she's ready. But yeah, that's all I got, so let's get it out. All right, well, we're gonna have to accept defeat today because the cherry picker has died on us. The ram has failed. It won't jack up no more. I mean, it's been leaking fluid for a while, so I'm surprised it's last, yeah. I'm surprised it's lasted this long. It's probably low on fluid, but the seal's fucked. And Harbor Freight has a new one for 50, 55 48 bucks. bucks. So, well, 48 plus shipping. Yeah. yeah. So 50 bucks, basically. 55 yeah. bucks. So this is as far as we got. This is a real pain in our freaking ass. Um, so yeah. They really squeeze it in there. Yes. I'm pretty sure they've never pulled the motor out of the top. I'm pretty sure they just dropped the cradle. We're the first. Yeah. Until we drop it out the bottom. Then we're not the first. Yeah, until <laughs> we realize this isn't happening. But yeah, so far, not so good. But uh, yeah, I guess I'll throw this on standby and we'll see you when we get the replacement. stopped at the harbor of freight like 55 bucks out the door 51 bucks 51 bucks fuck yeah so yeah back up and running and now we're right back to the same shit stuff we're about to find out whether it'll come out so when i see in the next clip and it's still in there you're welcome hit that like button because we hate our lives <laughs> all right well we're cooking now boys <laughs> this is as far as we're gonna get today bye <laughs> uh we're hopefully hopefully getting there uh, right now I gotta disconnect the heater core hoses. I mean, that should be good. Uh, we ended up having to run to Home Depot, pick up some Sawzall blades, and so we could cut off the cat. Uh, this guy had to give that a little chop chop. And yeah, now we had to reposition our spots again. But yeah, she's coming out, hopefully. So let's get it out. And it's out. So that was quite the endeavor uh but it's out so it's super easy to remove a cadillac motor out of a cts all you gotta do is cut off that pull all the motor mounts off oh yeah and there's no space to do any of this uh plus this thing is plus you gotta remove like this and yeah i mean you just watched the whole video yeah this thing is this thing is no joke like damn so like so that trunk's still open. We want to go pop that. We can like. So this is this is the stock trans, but I mean it does have a transfer case on it too. So technically it's still kind of close, but this thing's still way beefier than that TH400. So that's like all the stock stuff that's coming out of there. Uh, and then we got the this TH400 you've seen in the last video. So wow, that thing is super tiny compared to the other one. So. We got that, so we should have a lot of room in this thing. A lot smaller, too. 
Yeah, so we should have plenty of room for sure. Uh, well, yeah, I guess that's all I've got it for right now. We'll see if I film anything else. If not, that's the end. You know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next one.